Okay, so if you're watching this video separate to any of my other ones, hi, nice to see you, thanks for watching. Um, I've done a little standing warm up, which is also on the same channel, so you might want to just watch that quickly first, maybe run through it. Um, but we'll pick up from the end of that one and uh, just do some roll downs and then come onto the mat and do some work. So, you want to head towards the top of your mat, check your feet are underneath your hips, knees nice and soft. Have a deep breath in and grow tall, and then as you breathe out, we're just going to Peel ourselves down towards the feet, nice and slowly, stop wherever you feel comfortable. Deep breath in at the bottom, and as you breathe out, tuck the tailbone, lift through the tummy, peel yourself back up again. When you get to the top, have a breath in and grow nice and tall. And again, breathing out, peel yourself forwards. Think about your hands and your head being made of lead. They're super heavy, pulling you down towards the mat. Deep breath in at the bottom. As you breathe out, lift through the tummy, tuck the tailbone, using those tummy muscles to initiate that movement up. Have a deep breath in at the top and grow tall. Two more like that. Those heavy hands and head pull you down towards the mat. Deep breath in at the bottom. And you want to draw your heavy hands and head back up away from the mat, nice and slowly. Well, then we're going to pause at the bottom of this next one. Let the fingers find the mat, so we're going to lift one heel and then lift the other heel and just pedal out through the back of the legs. So if fingers on the mat is not an option for you, maybe just rest your hands on your shins or even on your thighs and just pedal out through the back of those legs, all the time keeping a lift through the tummy. You just want to feel that you're just working into the back of those legs, finding a little stretch through one, stretch through the other. And just let the crown of your head hang towards the mat, draw your shoulders away from your ears. both heels come down, bend the knees, walk the hands forward and come down onto the mat. So we will work into cat to start with. We'll have wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. So we're going to go nice and slowly, have a breath in. As you breathe out you're going to tuck your tailbone round through the lower, then the middle and then the upper back. Hold there for a deep breath in into the back of the rib cage. Breathe out, lift the tailbone, rippling through the back all the way to a nice neutral spine. And again, breathe out, tucking the tailbone, lifting through the tummy, rounding through the lower, middle and upper back. Hold for a breath in, breathe out, lift the tailbone and rippling back to neutral. So keep working with your breath, breathing out to round up, breathing into hold, breathing out to lengthen back to neutral. And all the time gently drawing your shoulders away from your ears, letting your neck relax. Go for one more, breathing out, rounding up, holding for a deep breath in, breathing out to come back to neutral. So we're going to work into thread the needle now. So I like to step my hands forward, half a handprint, just give myself a teeny bit more space. We're going to have a breath in and as we breathe out we're going to reach one hand under the other arm, let your shoulder come towards the mat. Breathe in to push back to the centre. Same on the other side. So just look after your neck. Keep thinking about your hips staying up above your knees. So we don't want your bottom to drop backwards as you reach underneath. And ideally, 
we would prefer your hips to stay pretty much above your knees in as so far as they don't swing out to the side either. We're just looking to get that lovely rotation and lots of length through the back. So we will add in an arm opening, so breathing out to reach under as you come back through, breathe in and open up towards the ceiling. And then the same on the other side, breathing out to reach underneath, breathing in to come up and through. So just keep moving nice and slowly, just noticing how your body feels in one direction and then how the body feels in the other. To go for one more each way. And then come back to the centre and just drop your tailbone back to your heels. Let your head come down towards the mat. Rearrange your jumper if you need to. And then just breathe into the back of the ribcage. So nice deep breaths into the back of the body. And then stay nice and low. We're just going to walk the hands across to one side. Find the stretch into the long side of the body. Breathe into the long side of your ribcage. So as you breathe in, you feel your ribs on that long side expand, just increasing the stretch a little bit. And as you breathe out, really relax. We'll walk those hands across to the other side. So again, you're finding that stretch into the long side of the body. Breathing into that long side, feeling the ribs expand, finding a little bit more stretch and then breathing out, emptying out all the air, really relax. And then walk those hands back to the centre, walk them back up towards you and we will come over onto our backs. So if you have got little head cushions that's great, if you haven't just a normal cushion, um, you really want to feel like your neck is in a nice neutral position and your head is supported um, so your neck can relax. So you don't want to end up with your chin in your chest, you don't want to end up with your chin up towards the ceiling so um, just use a little bit of common sense and find a cushion that works for you. You might find you don't need one at all, but I certainly am a little bit more comfortable with two small ones. So, just have a couple of deep breaths, breathe in, breathe wide into the sides of the rib cage, and as you breathe out, just let your body sink down into the mat. You want your feet hip width apart. If you're not sure where that is, just bring your feet together, step toes apart, bring your heels in line with your toes. You want to feel like your shoulders are drawing away from your ears, collarbones nice and wide. So on your next breath out, you're just going to gently roll the pelvis towards you and on your breath in, you're going to release the pelvis away. 
So nice and easy, really relaxed. Rib cage stays heavy all of the time. Just getting that little tilt of the pelvis towards you and then a tilt away again. And then we're gonna settle into neutral. So you just want that little pocket of air under the middle of your lower back. If you're not sure about neutral, make the diamond with your hands. Pop your thumbs and your belly, belly button, fingers down towards the legs and just check that that diamond is completely level. And then relax those arms. Okay, so we're gonna start with a single leg stretch today. Have a breath in, as you breathe out, Think about engaging through those deeper tummy muscles. So finding that lift through the pelvic floor, wrap through the tummy, and then slide one leg away. Breathing in to slide back again. And then the other leg. Breathing out to slide away. Breathing in to slide back. So you want to feel like the position through your body doesn't change at all. If you were lying on a pressure sensor mat, you'd like the picture that your body makes on that sensor mat or pressure sensor mat to be exactly the same as your leg slides out and slides back in again. Just opening up through the hip and then folding through the hip to come back. A nice easy level one exercise really take the time to tune into those deeper tummy muscles we're just looking for about 30 percent effort just that little bit of tensioning through the deepest layer and you just want to feel that if you had a spirit level balanced across the front of your pelvis the little air bubble would stay completely central all of the time One more to each side. And coming back in. Pause with those legs. We're going to take the hands up towards the ceiling. We're going to do some scapular isolation. So you want your palms facing, arms shoulder width apart. And you want to keep those collarbones wide. So we're going to breathe in, just float the hands up a little. Breathe out, sink the shoulders back to the mat. Breathing in to reach up. Breathing out to sink down. And you want to feel the back of your rib cage heavy into the mat all of the time. If you feel like your neck is getting tight or tense, just make that movement a little bit smaller. Maybe have a look over one shoulder, look over the other shoulder, come back to the center. Think about a soft peach in between your chin and your chest. And you're just gently keeping that there without squashing it. So to get those shoulders sinking down, maybe think about widening across the back of the shoulders. It might help to let them come back to the mat a little bit more. Okay, we'll go for one more. And then settle those shoulders into a nice neutral position. So just keeping the feeling of width across the back of the shoulders and across those collarbones. So we're going to go into some arm circles. We're going to breathe out, reach the hands towards the wall behind you. Breathe in and come around in your half circle. So palms facing as you reach backwards, palms towards the ceiling as those hands come around. Slightly misjudged my space required. Well done. So we're going to add in some legs. We're going to take it into a double leg stretch. As you breathe out and reach those hands backwards, one leg is going to slide away. And as those arms come around, that leg is going to slide backwards. And then the other side. So lots of coordination. Yes, we're looking at the mobility through the shoulders, moving through the leg but it's all about the stability and control through your body. So 
lower back stays in neutral. You want to be able to feel the bottom rib at the back of your rib cage, heavy into the mat all of the time. It's very easy for your rib cage to follow your arms, and we want to keep the rib cage connected so you keep the connection down through the front of the body. And just check that your feet are travelling along those parallel train tracks all of the time. And go one more each side. And then come back to the middle and we'll let those arms come down. So we're going to do some level one scissors. You may or may not wish to add some abdo prep to those. If you're just going to stick with level one scissors, arms stay by your sides. If you think you might like to do some abdo prep, you want to interlace your hands, pop your hands behind your head, thumbs down the back of the neck so your head can stay heavy into those hands. So we'll just have those there ready. So we'll all just do our level one scissors to start with. Keeping neutral, keeping the ribs heavy, we're going to breathe out. Find that lift and wrap through the deeper tummy muscles and float one leg up. Breathe in to let that leg come back down. And then the same on the other side. Breathing out to float up, breathing in to come back down. So again, if you are lying on your pressure sensor mat, you would like the picture of the pressure from the back of your body to stay the same all of the time. And you're just folding through the front of one hip to get that leg to come up, and then opening through the front of the hip for that leg to come down. And you want to think about your legs being light as feathers. You're focusing your energy into those deeper tummy muscles. And the legs are super light. So if you want to add in a bit of abdo prep as you breathe out and float the one leg up, you're going to slide your ribs down towards your hips. And then as that leg comes back down, you relax back again. Just make sure you are initiating that movement of your head and shoulders away from the mat by focusing on your ribs at the front of the body, sliding down towards your hips. So again, you can think of your peach in between your chin and your chest. And you're just keeping that peach there without squashing it. You want to feel that your head stays heavy in your hands. And your elbows are just in the periphery of your vision. So they're not coming in to pull you up or anything like that. They're staying relatively wide. You also want to be able to maintain that neutral position through your lower back, even as you come up into your abdo prep. So if you feel as though you're flattening through your lower back, just think about gently pushing your tailbone down into the mat as you come up into your abdo prep. Well done, we'll go one more each side. Have a little pause. So we're going to go into some oblique prep now. Exactly the same, level one scissors plus oblique prep. So as you breathe out and float the one leg up, you're going to bring the opposite shoulder towards it and then release back down again. So Again, it might not be that big a movement through your upper body and that is fine. It's more important to keep nice and stable. You want equal weight down into both sides of the back of your pelvis. Just bringing that shoulder up and across, thinking about the ribs sliding down and across. So again, keeping it smaller, really focusing on those ribs moving. What you don't want to feel is like you're rolling side to side. That is not the idea. Well done, we'll go two more each side. 
One. One. Two. Two. Good, and have a little breather. Okay, so we're gonna go into our level two um, single leg stretch, which means we need to come into double tabletop first. So just take a moment, check your position, neck long, shoulders drawing away from the ears, collarbones wide, rib cage nice and heavy, and neutral through lower back and pelvis. So we're gonna breathe out, float the first leg up, have a pause, sink those ribs down, really connect them towards the hips so you feel all of your abdominals just switched on. And then without changing your position, you're gonna breathe out, float the second leg up. Now, if you find you cannot maintain that position, keeping the neutral, or it's in any way uncomfortable for you, let one foot come down, let the other foot come down. You may find that you need more stability and more help from the mat. So you can, as long as it doesn't cause you any discomfort, flatten slightly into the mat. So you just imprint your back into that mat slightly. You're gonna breathe out, float the first leg up. Still think about those ribs connecting and the back staying flat into the mat and then float the second leg up. And that may give you a little bit more stability. It's more one dimensional strength, but it's better to be stable there than to let your back arch away from the floor too, from the floor too much. So just let one leg come down, let the other leg come down. So if you can maintain neutral, that is what we would prefer. If you can't maintain neutral, come flatter into the mat so you have more stability. So when you're ready, float the first leg up, connect those ribs, breathe out, float the second leg up. From here, we're gonna go into our single leg stretch. So we're gonna breathe out, reach one set of toes away towards the light switch and fold back in and then reach the other set of toes out towards the light switch and fold back in. So just notice what's going on through your neck. You are gonna feel like it's working a little bit harder, but again, you want to think about your soft peach. If you feel like your neck's far too tense, look over one shoulder, look over the other shoulder, come back to the center. Think about your soft peach again. If you're still struggling, then you might want to consider whether this is a exercise for you. You can always come back a level, keep the feet on the floor, just slide one foot out, slide it back in again. So each time you reach a leg away, think about deepening that connection through the tummy muscles. Really reach long through that leg and then fold back in. So again, we're going to add some abdo prep to this. So pause, hands behind the head, elbows wide. As one leg reaches away, you're coming up into your abdo prep and then folding back again. And again, you should be able to maintain that neutral position if that's where you've started all the way through. If you're already in imprint, you can stay in imprint. So really use the breath as the exercise gets a bit more tired challenging, you get a little bit tired, use that breath. Well done, we're going to go three more each side with the straightforward abdo prep. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Pause there. You need to stop the video, have a little rest do. Otherwise, we're going into crisscross. So as you breathe out and reach one leg away, the shoulder on that side comes towards the opposite knee and then release back. And then the other side. So make sure you come back to that start position in between each movement. Keep those elbows wide. Think about the shoulder coming across towards the opposite leg. Still really reach out through that straight leg. Keep deepening the connection between or through those deep tummy muscles. Well done. We'll go three more each side. Three. Three. Two. Two. One, one. 
Again, have a breather if you need to. Otherwise, take those hands up towards the ceiling. We're going to a double leg stretch. Now, three. Breathe out, reach one leg away and both hands backwards. As those arms come around, leg folds back in. And then the other side. So again, you're either maintaining your neutral position or if you can't manage that, you need to flatten into the mat. Just gently flattening that lower back so that you stay strong and stay safe. Reaching out through those legs still, thinking about those deeper tummy muscles, keeping the ribcage connected. We're going to go three more each leg. Three, three, two, two, one, one, and then draw those knees in and have a good rolled side to side. Well done. Getting a bit warm now. So we'll just finish off that little sequence with a bit of work into bridge. So we just stretch out through the front of the body. So if you've got your head cushions, you probably want to pop them to one side. You want to feel like you've got that length through the back of your neck, arms long. So feet are still hip width apart, maybe a little bit closer into your bottom. So think first as you breathe out. Sink the ribs down, roll the pelvis towards you, and then keep rolling the pelvis and peel up into your little bridge. You want to keep those ribs connected. Think about those knees reaching out and away from you. Squeeze through your bottom. Hold there for a breath in, and then breathe out. Peel yourself back down to the mat, one little backbone at a time, and then release all the way back to neutral. And again, sink those ribs, roll the pelvis, peel yourself up, keeping the ribs connected, reaching out through those knees, squeezing through your bum muscles. So you feel those hips opening up. Hold for your in-breath, breathe out and peel back down again. One more just like that. Hold at the top as you peel down. Think about chest sinking and then think about your waistband coming back to your mat before your bottom and then all the way down. So on this next one we'll add a little reach of those arms overhead so when you pause for your in breath reach your arms back and just leave them there as you peel back to the mat. Once you're all the way down those arms can return and again. Go two more, sinking the ribs, rolling the pelvis, squeezing up, reaching those knees away, and arms overhead, peeling back down on the out breath. Last one. And then when you're done, you can draw the one knee in, draw the other knee in, and have a little rock side to side. So we'll just finish with a little stretch in sitting. So you can either roll yourself to one side and push yourself up or have a little roll backwards and forwards and roll up. Sorry, I had to edit the last bit because we had a little doggy come in. Okay, so just rolled up to sit. We're just going to have a little stretch to finish. So we'll take one knee out to the side, other leg out in front. Have a breath in and reach up. And as you breathe out, come down towards that straight leg. It doesn't matter where you get to. You want to feel a stretch through the hamstrings, maybe a little bit into the opposite side of the back. But you need to be able to relax into that stretch. Let the shoulders draw away from the ears. If you're hanging on for dear life, those muscles that you're trying to stretch are gonna hang on for dear life. And that's not what we need. We need them to let go and relax.
gently walk those hands back up. We'll bring this knee up towards the ceiling and then cross the foot over the other leg. You're going to wrap the opposite arm around that knee and twist towards the bent leg. As you breathe in, you're going to grow a little bit taller and as you breathe out, you're going to twist a little bit more. should find a stretch into those muscles here. You will see a nice twist through the body, a little bit of a stretch through the back. And then gently release back to the middle. Take the other leg out straight, drop the other knee out to the side. So get a nice deep breath in to reach up. Breathe out, reach forward. Find that stretch into the hamstrings, maybe into the opposite side of the back a little. Again, let the shoulders draw away from the ears. Just breathe into that. Gently walk those hands back up. Take the bent knee up towards the ceiling. Cross that foot over the other leg. And then bring the opposite arm around. Twist towards that bent leg. And as you breathe in, grow a little bit taller. As you breathe out, maybe twist a little bit more. Unravel, we're going to come over onto hands and knees, tuck the toes under, roll back over those toes. See if you can keep the hands on the mat, take the hips up towards the ceiling. So keep your knees as bent as you need to. Just find that bit of stretch through the back of the legs. Have a few breaths here. And let the crown of the head hang towards the mat. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. If you want to have a little pedal out through those legs as well. Okay. And then let both those heels come down, bend the knees a bit more, drop the tailbone and unroll slowly back up to your We will just finish. Nice deep breath in and reach up. Couple more. Last one. And you are done. Well done if you've got to the end. Good job. Um, I should be doing some more videos. Hopefully I will get better at them. Please do keep sending me suggestions, what you'd like to see. Um, I'll try and include some equipment in the next couple. Um, I think